In this video you're going to learn about the new changes from Open Broadcast Software which was released July the 10th um, which is 15.1 and we can see the OBS uh, changelog here which is all like this. Now I'm going to highlight a few areas and I'm going to do that by getting stuck in to a slide that I've made and then I'll give a couple of examples. So first thing I just want to make sure that we're talking about is July the 10th and this was the latest version of uh, 0.15.1. Now the areas that we're talking about are in red for me that I will talk through and I'm going to give you two examples plus one extra to do with a browser source. The ones I'm really interested for those people who use OBS which is a screen recording and streaming software is the fixes. I'm going to take it that touch wood they are fixed and they are things that work. So let's go to things which have been added. So at the moment, first up in red for me, and I'm not going to talk through all of them, just the ones that I understand and that I think are useful. So we've added, or sorry, they have added a image slideshow resource which looks at uh, directories. I will come back to that with an example in a few seconds. VLC I'm going to leave alone because I just don't use VLC, but you can happily get stuck in. The view is quite self-explanatory and I will talk to you about it in a moment. You just uh, uncheck a few boxes and things get a bit simpler on screen. So then going down to, and this is a really vital one and I'll talk to you about it, added an option to automatically start recording when streaming. This is an absolute vital addition because in my mind if you go to stream something and you're not recording it to your hard drive you've got a problem if say YouTube or Twitch or something just crashes and it just stops streaming. You've got the copy on your hard drive to do as you want to later on. Um, hide cursor, don't know what it means particularly, you know, I had a look at it, it didn't seem to me to make a lot of difference. Added the ability to de delete multiple selected sources. That's just a fast fix to get rid of stuff and it's pretty interesting and self-explanatory. You can add other scenes of sources. I will demo this because this is incredibly like tree important um, to save you. It's better to see as the example than the last thing which is this four line explanation is that when you stop it kind of like buffers and stuff and makes it nicer for you stopping recording and streaming. I can't demonstrate that apart from um, you know when I stop you know I hope that I haven't chopped stuff off. So let's just get stuck in to what is going on. Now the first thing is I've got the open broadcast software 15.1 open. Now I think it was slides wasn't it? So there's two ways here and I'm going to give you a couple of tips. Scene 1 is empty so I'm going to right click I'm going to add and look at the the parts here image slide show and I'm going to click it. Image slide show yes please. Now when I come in here you'll notice that there is a fade swipe a slide and a cut. Now I'm just going to leave that um, between 8,000 milliseconds, that's 8 seconds, it's a bit long but um, now I'll leave it and transition is, is 700. So at the moment it's blank look, image file. So what you do is you click here to add and I'm going to add a directory this time. And now you'll see that I've got two which I happened to take you know, the other day. One is called um, St Mary Church and the other one is 16 by 9. I'll start with this directory. Now when you select it, it sits but it doesn't do anything up on the, the top box you have to trust it, you click OK and you can see straight away that the thing is working. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to transform to fit to screen. Now this is the clever part, um, clever in a blessing and also a curse in that we can change. So because the directory is of pictures which are portrait and landscape, I think, and again I'm not an OBS developer here, is that it looks at it and it makes a calculation to say I must sit vertically and I must sit widthwise. What that means, and you'll notice in a moment that when a landscape picture comes up, if we can get one that is, come on people, there you go, look you see it crops it with the black and the black because it's. I think it's made an average assumption that it's got to stay this height, but there's a lot of black on screen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop that by, by switching off the eyeball um, to stop it and right click and this time I'm going to add an image slideshow again and this time I'm going to add same thing, you see it's blank, click plus, I want a directory but this time I've edited a little um, album which is actually 16 by 9 in format and you watch the, the huge difference. Now once again this time for some reason, don't know why, but it gives us an, a lead image and I click OK. Right click and transform to fit and now what we've got differently look is 
a bunch of images that are moving around exactly as you need them at 16 by 9 without any wasted space on the side. So just to repeat, we can turn that one off and go back and you can see they're like that and then we can look at them and go there. That's my tip on that one. You can change a few things like swipes etc but I think if you get this far you're doing brilliantly. So if I just go back just to remind us where we were, oh yes yes I know where we are. The next part was to go on and I'm just going to turn that off for a second and I'm going to go to settings and just show you where to find and I've already checkboxed it look. In other words in general settings we go down and I'll just uncheck these and I'll show you what I mean. This is how it looks automatically record when streaming. I suggest you definitely check that. It says keep recording when stream stops. I think I'm going to check that as well. I'm assuming that if you don't do it, maybe, I don't know what happens, I haven't tested it, but the point of it is, is that these buttons are there to automatically rec record when streaming stops. Okay, so that one's done. And what else we're going to look at? Ah yes, deleted scenes. Um, all you can do there, if I wish to, is I can select I'm using my up arrow on the keyboard and the shift button and then if I hit minus and I say watch notice there's two there together hit it they both disappeared it's multiple scenes Now this is the part that I, I want to spend a couple of seconds and hopefully this video is going to be finished very very soon and if we go on to a second scene look that I've moved and notice that there is a picture of a log on a beach color and black and white black and white at the bottom color at the top It's just a demonstration if I go to scene one and there is nothing there and I say I wish to add a scene which was at the, the bottom arrow by the way and it says scene two beech tree photos and notice that's on the left I'm gonna say yes yes that's good I want that one thank you and it opens up now watch what happens here is you'll notice that it's one scene I can't do anything with it okay I can move it around as one scene but if I go over to that scene which is beech tree photos and this time watch I'm going to move the black and white at the top and the other one down the bottom when I click over to scene one they are magically updated so it's not like I'm bringing a scene up that actually stays stationary so if I go back again and let, let's say this had text on it and images and all sorts of different things if I make it I think I can go over here and have the scene and then have a multiple so if you can imagine in your head that we've got a scene which is leading to scene two and in scene soon sorry scene two there are two components and I think if you if you get a storyboard and a piece of paper and a pencil or something you can really figure out how you can make up OBS to be the absolute best that it is now the final thing here what I'm going to do and this is finishing this video and that is to say watch this I'm going to just to make that disappear from it scene one and I think this is a feature that was already here and it is called browser source and this is really interesting because you don't even have to have Chrome open in fact I'm going to close Chrome so there is no I've got no browser open on my PC here my Windows 10 PC I'm going to say right click add a browser source and you'll notice that there's nothing down there at the moment I click OK and then you'll notice by default which is lovely that it will open up OBS now watch this because there is no browser open okay OBS is a home page so what now at the moment the width is 800 so I know that I'm streaming something here at 1280 by 720 okay 30 frames a second don't know why we need as many as that but doesn't matter local file very interesting that if you'd already cached and downloaded a whole web page or something you could take a local file doesn't matter to the example click OK now what actually happens here is that I'm streaming or recording a live web page without having any browser open on my desktop and I think that's really magical because it frees up a lot of space on your desktop in terms of having Chrome open but also gives you a quick snapshot of a web page and if I was going to muck about with it I could come up here and make it like really big look and I could bring this in and I think if I have a good old think about this, I think this would be incredibly interesting that you can stream and that was everything you need to know. Thanks a lot.